What is up, peoples? So the ancient Polynesian gods and goddesses were revered extensively throughout the Polynesian region, which includes more than a thousand islands dotted across the central and southern Pacific Ocean. Many of those islands had similar traditional and religious beliefs, including its vast number of gods and goddesses. From Rangi, Father Sky, to Marama, the goddess of death, here follows a look at some of the most popular Polynesian deities. The most important gods of the Polynesian pantheon were those associated with creation myths and legends. Best known were Rangi, Father Sky, and Papa, Mother Earth, the two supreme creator gods of the Maori people of New Zealand. According to Maori legend, Rangi and Papa served as the source from which all things came. The counterparts of Rangi and Papa in Hawaiian mythology were Ao and Po. Ao represented the male force in the universe and was associated with the sky, the day and light. Po, the feminine force, was linked with the earth, darkness and night. According to Hawaiian myth, a creator god named Ku separated Ao from Po. Ku then worked with Lono, god of the heavens, peace, rain and fertility and Kane, the chief god of generation and growth, to create the earth and all living things. After Kane made the first man and woman, he became angry at their bad behavior and decided that humans would be subject to death. He then left the earth and went to live in heaven. In Samoa, Tagalua was the one to create the heavens, earth and life. The union of sky and earth conceived him, and when he fluttered his eyes open into this new reality, he set off to create life. Ku was also the Hawaiian god of war, who many believed has a powerful burning mace that he used to hold the souls of the people he killed. For his consort, Ku took Hina, goddess of the moon. According to myth, Ku frequently comes to the rescue of many Hawaiian gods, especially during wars. In Tahitian mythology, the supreme creator deity was Ta'aroa, also called Rua Itupra, meaning the source of growth. Ta'a Rua emerged from a cosmic egg and started the process of creation. To fill the emptiness around him, he used part of the egg to make the sky, and the other part to create the earth. Satisfied with his accomplishment, he filled the world with all the creatures and things that are now found in it. The Tahitians believed that Ta'a Rua sent both blessings and curses, and they tried to appease him with human sacrifices. The Maori gods Rangi and Papa had many offspring, including Tangarua, the god of the seas. According to legend, Tangarua fled to the sea to escape the wrath of his brother Tauhiri, the storm god. Tangarua later quarreled with another brother, the forest god Tane, and forever after he enjoyed sinking canoes made from wood from Tane's forests. In Hawaiian mythology, Tangarua was called Kanalua, and the Hawaiian counterpart of Tane was Kane. The Samoans and Tongans knew Tangarua as Tangalua. Perhaps the best known and most feared deity in Hawaii was the fire goddess Pele, a violent figure associated with volcanoes. Renowned for her beauty, but also her ability to destroy, Pele symbolized the power of natural forces. Many Hawaiian legends deal with her unpredictable temper and dangerous nature. Residing atop Mount Kilauea, one of the world's most active volcanoes, is the Hawaiian goddess Poliau, considered one of four deities of snow. She is also famed for being one of the daughters of the creator deity Kane. As the goddess of snow, Poliau is said to cause snowfall across the mountain in winter seasons, while in spring she causes flowers to bloom. Poliau is the sister of Pele. According to some accounts, she waged a brutal war against Pele over the control and ownership of Mount Kilauea. Being a fiery goddess, Pele would unleash copious amounts of hot, burning lava across the mountain to spite Poliau, who would then douse it with her snow. A water goddess, Namaka Okai, is the older sister of the fire goddess Pele. Hawaiians and many other Polynesian cultures believed that she is the exact opposite of her sister. After her sister Pele tried to seduce her husband, Namaka Okai, 
and Pele became sworn enemies, also known as Namaka. She is believed to send huge waves to douse fires caused by her younger sister Pele. Another prominent deity in Hawaiian mythology was Kamapuaha, the pig god, known both for his warlike nature and for his romantic exploits. This energetic god appears in many tales. The Hawaiians often sought Kamapuaha as an ally during war and used his adventures to explain various natural phenomena. Laka was believed to be in charge of love, fertility and beauty. Hawaiians credit the goddess Laka with the creation of the hula dance. In addition to being in charge of everything that is beautiful, Laka uses her magic and light to make plants and trees in the forest blossom. As a result, she has been associated with fertility, including fertility in humans. The Maori god of earthquakes was Ruao Moko. During the separation of Papa from Rangi, their children turned their mother face down, so she didn't have to look at the sadness in her partner's eyes. Ruao Moko was being held either in her breast or womb, which caused him to become trapped underground, and so his movements today cause earth tremors and volcanic eruptions as he attempts to escape. The giant goddess of death and the underworld, Hine Nui Tepu, is the Maori goddess of night, who receives the spirits of humans when they die. Her father is Tane, the god of forests and land mammals, while her mother is a human made from earth. Due to her association with death, the Polynesian goddess Marama was not as beloved as other Polynesian deities. Regardless, Marama was still a very feared goddess among many Polynesian peoples. In addition to being the deity of death, she was also known as being the deity of the moon, time, and in some cases, even fertility. Said to guard the entrance to Pulotu, the watery, dark realm of the ancestors, Hikuleo held a ritual role as mediator and was associated with the Tui Tonga, the earliest line of ruling chiefs, who were her earthly representatives. Thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please help me by sharing the video and subscribing to the channel. Till next time, bye bye.